Watch this video to learn how to play Firefly, the first piece in the Piano Adventures Level 1 Lesson Book. Today we're going to learn how to play Firefly. Firefly is the very first song in the Piano Adventures Level 1 lesson book. Firefly is a review piece. If you just finished playing the Piano Adventures Primer Level books or My First Piano Adventure Level C, then you know everything that you need to know to play this piece already. So let's begin by finding some of the things that are in the piece. It begins by asking us to circle the treble clef sign. So go ahead and circle the treble clef. And remember, treble clef has another name, which is the G clef. And we call it the G clef because the line for note G comes right out of the middle of this target. So let's go ahead and trace this second line, the G line, right here for the first measure to show that that is where all G's will sit on the treble clef. Now let's go ahead and circle the bass clef. The bass clef, if you remember, has another name. Its other name is the F clef. And that's because the line for base F comes right out of these two dots here. So let's go ahead and trace that F line for the first measure too, so that we can show that that is the line where all Fs will sit. Now, looking at this piece, there are some dynamic markings. There is a marking for mezzo forte and a marking for piano. Do you see them? Where is the mezzo forte marking? The mezzo forte marking is right here at the beginning. Go ahead and circle it or highlight it. Do you remember what mezzo forte means? Mezzo forte means moderately loud. So it's a little bit quieter than forte. Do you see the sign that means piano? That is right here. Go ahead and circle or highlight the piano symbol. Do you remember what piano means? Piano means soft or quiet. It is much quieter than mezzo forte. So this piece is going to start out loud or moderately loud, and then it's going to get very quiet right here. And then if you look, we have another mezzo forte at the end. Go ahead and circle or highlight that as well. It's going to end moderately loud, just like it started. One more thing for us to circle before we begin, and that is the time signature. Where is the time signature? Time signatures are at the very beginning of the piece. They tell us how many beats are going to be in every measure, and what kind of note gets a beat. Go ahead and circle the 4-4. Four, four. The top number means that there will be four notes in every measure, and the bottom number means that a quarter note will be a beat. We are going to learn this piece one line at a time. Let's begin with line one. We need to figure out where our hands are supposed to be. This first note we know is G because we traced the line for G and it went straight through the middle of that note. So go ahead and put a G on the little line there. What is this first note for the left hand? A's on the top line, step down to G. That is a G also. So your hands are going to have a top note on G for both of them, which means that we're going to be in C scale position. Once we get started, it will help us to also have the duplicate note circled. So let's go ahead and circle both G's here and circle both F's here and both E's here and both D's here. Go ahead and put your music up and we'll get your hands situated on the piano. 
right hand will have a thumb on middle C, and left hand will have a thumb on base G. Your hand should look like this. Here is how the first line sounds. Let's learn how to play it. It starts with two Gs and then skips down to E. Then we're going to step up and play two Fs and skip down to D. Try just that part with me. One, two, ready, go. Two Gs, skip down to E, two Fs, skip down to D. Good. The next part we play two Es. Then we're going to skip down and back up. Then step down to D and play your left hand thumb. Try that part with me, beginning in measure three with two E's. One, two, ready, go. Two E's, skip down, skip back up, step to D, and left hand thumb. Now let's play that first line again, but let's focus on the timing. A lot of this line is quarter notes, but we have half notes at the end of the first measure, the end of the second measure, and the end of the line. Let's say the rhythm words while we play it this time. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 step up, ta, 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 step up again, ta. To go ahead and move on to line two now. If you take a look at line two in the right hand, we see a C, and then I notice that it's moving up one step at a time. It's, this is a line to a space, a space to a line, a line to a space, a space to a line. So those are all steps. It's going C, D, E, F, G. So up the entire C5 finger scale. And then I see it goes down, 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 F, E, D. So that's what my right hand is doing. How about what my left hand is doing? I see the same note in my left hand four times. This note is the same note from line one, it's G. And it looks like I'm going to play it in between the notes here. So first I play right hand C, then I start playing my left hand thumb in between each note on the scale all the way up until I get to the top G and that's where I stop doing my left hand in between. This is how line two sounds. Let's try it together. You're going to begin with your right hand thumb on middle C. One, two, ready, go. C, left thumb. Now next note, D, left thumb again, up to E, left thumb again, up to F, left thumb again, and now G. No more thumbs. Step down three times. Those are all of the notes. Let's take a look at the rhythm now. I see mostly quarter notes again, but there is a half note for the first note of the third measure, and there's a whole note at the end of the line. This time, let's say the rhythm words as we play it, beginning on middle C. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ta. Great, we'll go ahead and take a look at the third line next. The third line is similar to the first line. If you look at the note names, it's G, G, E, F, F, D, which are the same notes we played over here. G, G, E, F, F, D. But these were in the right hand and this is in the left hand. So the left hand is going to take over the melody now. Let's circle those duplicate notes just like we did on the last page. There's also two duplicate notes right here. 
After that, it is going to do something different. All of these notes are moving by skips. I know because this is moving space to space, this is moving line to line. So it looks like I'm going to start on my left hand third finger, skip to my left hand thumb, and then go to my right hand thumb, and then skip to my right hand third finger. And we'll look at how that works. Then we'll step down to D, play it twice, and end with the left thumb just like we did on the first line. Here is how the third line sounds. together. We're going to begin with your left hand thumb on G. A little slow. One, two, ready, go. Two Gs. Skip to E. Step up to F. Skip down to D. Now, three, skip to one, other one, skip to three. Step down to D left-hand thumb. Let's put a spotlight on measures 11 and 12. Those are the last two measures of this line um, because they are a little bit tricky and make sure that we feel comfortable with them. So the first note here is your left-hand third finger. It's a skip to your thumb and then to your other thumb and then a skip to its third. Try just that. Beginning with left hand three, one, two, ready, go. Left three, skip, other thumb, skip. Good, after that you just step down to D and play two of them. And left thumb. Let's try those two measures together. One, two, ready, go, E, skip. Middle C, skip, step down to D, repeat, G. Let's play the entire third line now. And now that we know the notes, let's focus on the rhythm. The rhythm for this is the same as the first line. There's a half note at the end of measure nine and 10, the first two measures, and there's a half note at the very end of line three. One, two, Rhythm words go two G's ta ta skip ta step up ta ta skip down ta three one ta 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 step down ta ta G ta great we have one line left to learn let's take a look at it. So in this line, I notice that these are all skips because I see they're moving line to line to line. And these are also all skips. They're moving space to space to space. So I must be using my whole hand here in order to do two skips in a row like that. So this does look like it begins on my thumb on middle C and then I skip to three and five. And this looks like it begins with the pinky on base C and we skip to three and one. And then after that, we're going to play something very similar to what we did up here and over here. We're going to play thumb, skip to three, step to two, and then the, your left thumb, and then we'll switch to your right thumb. Here is how the fourth line sounds. It starts out piano. This is the quiet part of the song. Let's try it together. It begins with your right hand starting on C and we're going to skip one, three, five, and then go to left hand and skip five, three, one. One, two, quiet, go. C, skip, skip, left hand C, skip, skip, back to mezzo forte, C. Skip up, step down, other thumb, to see. 
Good. This time, let's focus on the rhythm. It's the same rhythm um, almost as the line above it. We have a half note at the end of measures 13 and 14, the first two measures, and then we have a whole note in the last measure. One, two, piano, go. Ta, 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 left, ta. C, ta, skip, ta, step, ta, other thumb, ta, other thumb, ta, ah, ah. Here is your practice plan for Firefly. You should practice Firefly for five minutes every day. At first, work on the lines individually. Once you feel that you know how to play them on their own really well, start playing two lines at a time, so page one and page two. And once you feel that you're very good at that, play the whole piece from end to end. As you play, make sure that you are playing the correct notes, that you are playing the correct rhythm, and that you are using the correct dynamics. That's it. You have learned how to play Firefly. Great work.